What's up, can you believe your eyes? In this video, I'm going to talk about <laughs> what brought me back to FL Studio. Now, a couple years ago, I talked about why I no longer used it, and I actually watched it before I started uh, this video here. And I was pretty in agreement with everything I said. I felt like I took a pretty balanced step on that because I couldn't really diss the program. However, at that time, it wasn't a good thing for me. Also, I was dealing with a laptop. It was an aging laptop. Still worked, but had a lot of issues with it. And I was watching that. I was like, oh, my being hypocritical no because it wasn't like oh, i'm never going to use fl studio again but as you can see on the screen i'm back on here working with this product and i already been making some beats i'll give you a taste of it real quick check this out and you know, i was just grooving with this thing man i was having a lot of fun so let's talk a little bit about what got me back so i was sitting somewhere where i had to wait a while and uh, i have recently just invested in a new laptop now that's pretty much your answer right there you got a laptop let's put fl studio on it and i wasn't even really using it because i wasn't in the habit of of using it but i started to use it i started to speaker because i had a little bit of downtime i had to be alert but be patient and i had my laptop there and i was like let me experiment with some sounds and some plugins and then one thing led to another from that and then now I'm making, I'm making beats on this thing. I was like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. Which goes to my point that I talked about two years ago about it being a mouse and keyboard. You can create your whole music with a mouse and keyboard. Now, it doesn't seem very practical in my studio, right? I got keyboards and MIDI controllers and stuff like that. Sometimes it can be so much. It's where do you start? But here I am at this desk, at this table. I just got my mouse and my keyboard and some Bluetooth. And I could sit here and discreetly cook without bothering anybody. And it's not so, how do I put it? It's not a strange, like people see in the today's day and age, when people see you look or working on a laptop, it doesn't look, it doesn't look strange. It doesn't like, hey, what's that? But if I was sitting there with like NPC Live, <laughs> with you know, cooking up, bobbing my head, it doesn't look appropriate for certain places. And it would draw too much attention to yourself. Now, if, if other places you can, but there's some places where you don't want to draw too much attention. You don't want to draw too much attention. So not too long ago, maybe about a month ago now, I had went to Micro Center and I bought a laptop because my last laptop was aging and I was having battery issues. It broke. I broke the screen on it once and I fixed it and... I had 12 gigabytes of RAM, but using a very high level processor. And it wasn't, uh, didn't have a high powered video card in it. But this one is different. This one is a Lenovo. I could probably talk about it in another video. It has a 4070 video card in it, 60 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 7 processor, which is currently what I run in my home studio right now. Only that my home studio's computer has 64 gigs of RAM with a 1060 in it. So 1060 to 4070. And as I was doing it, I was just taking it through its paces. I was like, wow, I can, I don't know what I've been missing, but this is the first gaming level laptop I ever got. And most gaming units out now are plenty powerful for music production, in my opinion. It's only so far we can go with these plugins. So I had all this power. I was like, well, let me just try it out. And I started to sit down and I started to make experiments. I was like, this is where FL Studio was starting to shine because I just got the mouse and I got a keyboard and that's it. And I could click around and I can navigate and I can look at my settings and look at my mixer and see my plugins right there. And it's funny because I'm using air plugins. Boom, right there. I got air plugins right there and I'm off to the races, editing the sounds, picking presets, arranging the song, the patterns into songs. I was like, I remember this, this was cool because that's kind of how I first started with FL Studio. When I first started with FL Studio, all I had was a mouse and keyboard and computer screen. That's all I had. And it's just something about, and it's new for me because I haven't done it in a while, but it's, it's, it's a new experience to sit down and have to figure out everything you need to do right in the box right there out in the wild. Now, now the machine, not the machine, NPC Live, you can get that too. And you can figure out what you can do, but I, I lost track of how cool it is, but I never really cooked on FL Studio, not too much. But it's just nice having an FL Studio on your laptop where you have to be somewhere where you can't be too weird looking as a musician, but still tinker with plugins and 
and look at them and just try to figure out what does this do, what does that do, and get really familiar with that, making the patterns, all of that stuff. And it's been really fun. I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. So if you want to have stealth mode on where you're cooking, the laptop is probably the best way to go. Now, I do like the portability, uh, portability of the MPC. I have a lot of fun with that. I like having that in a hard case. And to be honest, I had to be pretty delicate with my laptop. It was a big laptop, too. It was an older one. 17 is great. Amazing. I had a lot of fun. Did a lot of great things with that laptop. But the build quality wasn't necessarily the greatest. Now, this Lenovo unit seems more built. And I, one thing I like about this one, that this doesn't really look like a gaming laptop. You don't have like a lot of RGB all over the place. You don't have a lot of colors and big lo logos. Like, this is a very low key. It's a sleeper. That's the best way I can describe this laptop. It's a sleeper. And this sleeper, and this sleeper laptop was really the tool that helped bring me back to cooking on the laptop. It was just no brainer. Like, try it out. And I was like, man, this is fun. And it's just a different experience being out in the wild where you don't have the comfort of your studio and all your resources and sound and you have to find a different way to groove differently and this brings a whole new experience for me working at the studio and it's kind of funny because when i go back to the studio i'm back on my npc with the controller but if i'm out in the wild and i can't carry my npc live everywhere but i could get away with carrying a, a laptop around it's just like rediscovering something old that's already been there you don't know i didn't know really what i was missing because I kind of got into the rut and I got reserved and said, oh, I'm just going to just live, live with the fact that I don't have a very powerful laptop. I don't like carrying it around. There's not much I can do on my laptop, so I'm not going to get too creative or experimental on it. You just kind of get reserved and try to live with things. But when you finally get something nice, and I think that's a good way to close the video. When you finally get something nice, you can really appreciate it because you know what life was like without it. What was the deal beforehand? So basically what got me back... <laughs> <laughs> to FL Studio is a new gaming spec laptop. I didn't know I was missing, and it was time. I, I I put this off for a long time. It was time, and it sort of made a change. Well, I could do content on FL Studio again. An old school YouTuber, just how we used to do it back in the day before DSLRs. You just had your webcam and OBS, so I could get back to teaching on this platform too. So I'm definitely gonna be talking about a lot more FL Studio in the future. And we're going to do the minimalist setup. I'm not going to have a ton of controllers and outboard gear. Just got my mouse, keyboard, some plugins. And go back to some of the basic stuff. Not discrediting how cool a lot of other things are. Especially on the NPC platform and other platforms. But getting back to that minimal. Barely got your hands on this laptop. I want to create something and cook. And it's something I've kind of stepped out from for a while. And because it does get stale. I think cooking on it. Maybe even for me sometimes. Creating on the NPC gets a little stale because I know that there's an NPC 3 beta out that they're still working on. That makes me to another point. If NPC 3 could be so self-sufficient by mouse and keyboard like FL Studio is, now you can compete. But this is this is version 24. NPC is only working on 3 now. It's just a very refined, optimized, does what it needs to do. I'm getting back to know FL Studio. So, and as I learned, I'm going to teach tutorials as well. I'm getting back to know it. But from a new perspective, not from in the house, in the comfort of, of, of being somewhere comfortable, but, but being out in the wild. Something different about it. And I'm having fun. Hope this uh, was a cool video. Stand by for more. If you're watching Tilio T2K YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. It's time to talk, talk about FL Studio again. Let's go.